Hey hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to make a very interesting and very useful project in which we can request a sensor data from our phone through our text sms and we will get the current temperature and humidity value in our phone through our text sms and along with this current temperature and humidity value will be also displayed on the lcd and value will be updated in every after 10 seconds kind of a real time data monitoring system let me show you a demo after booting current temperature and humidity value will be displaying on the lcd and after every 10 seconds it will update the reading kind of real time data monitoring system now let me show you how can we request this sensor data from our phone through our sms open your messaging app and send a text called state to the number that you have inserted in the 4g lte module here as you can see data is now sending Yes, here we got the text SMS in which sensor data that is current temperature and humidity value is available. And for making of this project, I am going to use this my design 4G LTE module. And this 4G LTE module come into existence due to the help of JLC PCB SMT assembly services. If you want to learn more about this 4G LTE module, I have made a dedicated video on this in which I have explained everything in detail like its feature and specifications, benefit of using this 4G LTE module over 2G GSM module and how to connect with this Arduino Uno board. All the links are available in the description. Now let's get into this video. This is the schematic of 4G LTE module. If you want your own custom designed PCBs, then you can download this schematic from the link given in the video description. After making the schematic, I have arranged and placed all the components in desirable places. Once the layout is ready, route the wiring and complete the design of PCB. After finishing the PCB design, I gave its order to JLC PCB for PCB manufacturing. JLC PCB is a leading PCB manufacturing company in China. JLC PCB provides high quality and reliable PCBs. Now even you can try ordering your own custom designed PC from JLC PC by following very simple steps. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project. Select the number of PCBs and color masking and after that click on save to cart to complete your order. And here if you select the fastest shipping option you may get the PCBs delivered at your desired location within a week. So finally we received our PCBs in a very good packaging. As usual, the quality of PCB is very premium and the components are soldered very well. Traces are perfect, silk screen is fine, green color PCB masking looks very beautiful and PCBs looks pretty professional. Do try ordering the PCBs for your next projects from the JLC PCB. And not only that, JLC PCB also provides the SMT assembly services and the 3D printing services as well. All the links are available in the description. Do check them out. This is the code for our today's project. Uh, let me explain this code for you. First of all here, we include the necessary libraries for handling the DST sensor, software serial communication for GSM module and the I2C LCD display. After that here, we initialize the software serial port for the GSM module using digital pin 9 and 10 for RX and TX respectively. Here we configure the DST sensor pin and type. Here I am using DST22 sensor which is connected to digital pin 2. Here in this line, we have initialized the I2C LCD display with address 0 cross 27 and this LCD has 16 column and 2 rows. Here we start the serial communication with computer at 9600 baud rate for debugging and initializes the serial communication with GSM module at the baud rate of 115200. These lines are for displaying a welcome message on the LCD and hold it for 3 seconds. Here in this line, a message is printing on the LCD that is initializing for 2 seconds, simulating a setup period. Here we are setting the GSM module into text mode and configures it to notify upon receiving a new SMS. Now in the loop section, first of all here we are managing timing to update the sensor reading every few seconds. It reads the temperature and humidity value from the DST22 sensor and displays the value on the LCD. Here we are checking if any SMS has been received or not. If yes, then it will process the command in the SMS. 
This function used to communicate with the GSM module by sending AT commands and expecting a specific response within a timeout period. This function sends an SMS with the temperature and humidity data to a predefined phone number. In short, this code is designed for Arduino projects that read temperature and humidity data from DST22 sensor, displays the information on an LCD, and allows for the reception of SMS command to trigger actions, such as sending back the sensor data via SMS. I hope you understand this code. Still, if you have any problem or doubt, then you can comment your question in the comment section below. Now upload this code after selecting the right board, that is Arduino Uno and right communication port. As soon as you power up the system, it will start booting and here in LCD it will print a welcome message that is sensor data monitoring by Technolab and it will take couple of seconds to get ready. After booting, current temperature and humidity value will be displaying on the LCD and after every 10 seconds it will update the reading, kind of real time data monitoring system. Now let me show you how can we request this sensor data from our phone through our SMS. Open your messaging app and send a text called state to the number that you have inserted in the 4G LTE module. Here as you can see, data is now sending. Yes, here we got the text SMS in which sensor data that is current temperature and humidity value is available. Let me show you again. Here I texted state. It received the SMS and send back us with current temperature and humidity value to our phone. Uh, here I again texted string state. And here we again got the value of current temperature and humidity value in our phone. Uh, this is a very useful project. Real time temperature and humidity value is displayed on the LCD, which will update it in every after 10 seconds. And also, we can request this value from our phone as you, as you see. Yeah, that's it in this video. I hope you like this project and learn something new. Please do consider liking and subscribing my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye. Have a nice day.